Okay, here we are on um, day two of the contour self line self portrait. Um, we do have our contour line layer ready to go. And what we're going to do is start placing photographs into the various spaces that we've created with our continuous contour line. So let me open up a couple photos <clears throat> to use for this project. I'm actually going to place them, file place. <clears throat> and find them in my documents. Let's go down to Media Arts and I have them in my contour portrait. And I have some pictures of mountains and lakes and all sorts of good stuff that I love. So I'm going to start to place these photos. Um, we'll just place two photos for now. Uh, once you get your photo placed in, you're going to get this big X, so you just want to hit enter um, so that the file will place. All right, then we'll do that again. File place, find another photo to use, like Michigan. Here, and hit place. All right, I'm from Michigan, so gotta have a picture of Lake Michigan and picture of the mountains that I love here, ski at in the winter time. All right, so on our contour line layer, we are going to use our magic wand selection tool, and I'm just gonna go ahead and select an area. And see, when I do the magic wand, it just selects everything in that area. So then I have to actually move over to the layer that I want to copy. And I want to copy the photograph of the lake. So now I'm selecting the photograph of the lake, and I'm going to do Command-J. So now when I turn off my other photos, I have a picture of the lake that fits perfectly in that coffee pot or coffee mug. All right, now I'm going to go back up to the contour line, find another place that I want to fill with maybe the mountains. I think I'll take my shirt here, and I'm going to look at the picture of the mountains and make sure it's on and that it's selected. Um, looks like it needs to be moved down, so I'm going to move that picture down, and I'm going to have to redo that selection. So Command Deselect, back on my contour line layer, selecting my magic wand again, and I'm going to click that. Actually, I don't like that area of the mountain, so I'm going to move my mountains so I can get like a really nice part of the mountains. Now I'll go up to my contour line, get my magic wand, select it, go back down to my picture of the mountains, and I'll do Command-J. Okay, so then I am going to, if I turn off my picture of the mountains, I've fit the picture in there. Now I'm going to move that picture back up. Oops, wrong picture. Oh look it, it's cut off a little bit. Um, that means I'm going to have to trace it or trash it and move this back up. I need to move this up so I can get that corner there. Alright, contour line, layer, magic wand, select, back to my picture down here, command J, I get my layer. If I turn this off, I can see what I have. That's good. Go back to my picture layer, and I'm going to actually move it back into the screen so that if I save it, I don't actually lose part of it. And I'm going to turn that off to see what I have. The really cool thing is that I can actually pick like part of my skin, and I could do um, a different opacity. Notice I'm not on the right layer. I need to be on my contour line layer. So get this part of my skin, and let's see. I could use, that would be a good picture to use for it. So I'm going to come down to the lake picture again. And obviously you will have a ton of pictures, um, not just two. Uh, so I'm on my lake picture again, Command-J. And go ahead and turn that off and see what I have. All right. Now with this layer that my skin is in, I'm probably going to want to just change the opacity of that a little bit. Um, and I could do several pictures in, in one spot too. I could go ahead and choose 
um, the mountain picture again. And let's move over to that. I could overlay both of these pictures. Uh, so if I go to my mug, let's say, and I choose that area again, and go back down to my mountain layer, do a Command J, and now I have these two layers on top of each other. Um, so if I choose, I'll put them next to each other. So these are my coffee cups. I could change the blend mode of this, and so when I do that, I can see. Is there a sharp pay here? Mm -mm. Okay, so you can change the blend mode, and you see I just did multiply, um, and I could try a lot of different things like overlay. I could change my opacity of this layer, and then I get this really kind of cool image with both of those pictures. So eventually, our whole contour line portrait is going to be filled with parts of our pictures that we've chosen. Um, all right, well I hope you have fun and I think that is it for the um, tutorial today. Um, just to review, when you put your pictures in, file place, okay? Um, when you copy or when you select, you must be on your contour line drawing so you can select those shapes and then when you copy that picture you must actually be on the picture layer and then you do command J so that is just a quick summary and you are good to go